Welcome to Goldcrest Valley, a guide to the Pickup TT wheel and paint designs with me, Mr. Sealy P. This isn't so much a guide as more of a learn along with Mr. Sealy P. Um, I'm going to be looking at the pickup today or pickups. Um, we're going to the shop menu under cars. You've got the Lizard Pickup Rodeo, which is the one you start the game with, and then this Lizard Pickup TT. I'm going to be looking at the Lizard Pickup TT. I'm assuming the options are the same. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to focus on the Pickup TT today because a lot of people have, will upgrade or, you know. So if you've got the Pickup Rodeo, I may do another one on that at some point. But anyway, I've already purchased it, and it is here. I've bought it in white. You can get it in all sorts of different colours. That will become uh, apparent when we go and look at it. But I've done it in white, so the options and things we do will stand out. So quickly jump in. The interior is quite nice, uh, quite plush looking. Interesting stereo and stuff. But I will turn on the engine. And here's the thing. There are lots of options available when you buy it. However... You don't know what they are, which is a bit of a baffling situation. So if I now go into here, these options will be available to you when you first buy the vehicle. But obviously, I've done this to show you plain, white all over, and standard wheels. So if I go into the menu and then go to customize, these are the options you're going to be presented with when you buy the vehicle in the first place. Um, you've got the main color. I'm going to leave that as white because I want everything else to stand out. But if I click on main colour, these are the options available to you. You can pick any of those you wish. If I choose a different colour though, there is a cost implication with that. Now, the interesting thing with that is it says plus 500. But when you go down to the bottom, it says base price 1000. Options 500. So it's charging me a thousand anyway with anything else now i don't know whether or not if you own your own um go back up to that whether you own your own workshop whether they'll be charged you that i don't i don't know i have no idea but anyway um so that's uh the colors you can buy you've then got wheel setup you've got rim color design and design color which is interesting now you've got wheel set up standard is what it's on now then it says design one lovely what does design one look like design three no design two which is unusual four five six seven eight and back to standard now the problem is there's a base price every time of a thousand and i'm just working out how much money i've got whether i'm going to be able to do all of these anyway we shall see so that's standard design one I'm going to put the rim colour on white as well. Oh, that's going to charge me more, isn't it? I'll leave the rim colour as it is for the time being. Design 1, I'm going to click Customise. OK. So, here we have Design 1. They're nothing particularly special. They're all right, but that is the second design option for the wheels you might have on your pickup. Hmm interesting okay that's design one customize i go down down to design three because there's no design two don't know why but anyway i'm going to go design three and customize so design three is a more spoke to fare uh again it's all right nothing particularly outlandish that's design three. Go on to customize again. Wheels, design four. Customize. This is going to get expensive, isn't it? Never mind. Okay. Ah, now. This one stands out a little bit. <clears throat> it's the sort of wheels you see on, uh, is it the Dodge Rams? The Dodge Ram pickups. You often see the back set of wheels. When you have the double wheels, these ones kind of stick out. But these ones stick out a little bit more. They stand proud of the wheel. Um, yeah, that's right. Six spoke design. Uh, stands a little bit out. Interesting. Customize again. Design five. 
Well, it's costing me more this time. Customize. Okay, I'm assuming these are going to be super exciting. Ah, okay. Super spokes. Um, these look like the low riders, isn't it? The low rider cars that have these with the springy, bouncy suspension type things. Anyway, so more of a spoked wheel that time. Back in again. Design six. Customize. Yes. Well, that's not bad. I quite like that one. That's a nice one. And then at the end of the day, this is just so you can get a look at them. At, you, you know, it's easy enough looking on there and saying design six, design seven, design until you've paid for it and look at it. Um, I bought a pickup on one of the other gameplays just to have a fiddle around with it. And the wheel choice, God, they were awful. I went through three different wheel choices before I got the ones I wanted, which makes it quite an expensive affair. But anyway, that's the next one. What was that? Six? I can't remember now. I was too busy chatting. Um, right. Customize. Yeah, that was design six. Design seven. Customize. There you go. Quite nice. It's probably why they're more expensive as you go up. The designs are slightly more elaborate, I guess you'd call them. Um, but, yep, there you go. Design seven. I'm assuming these options are identical for the other pickup. I could be wrong, but I assume they are. That was design seven. And then we go down to the last one, design eight. And that's design eight. Actually, I like that one out of all of them. That's a nice one, that. Design eight. It's caught my eye. I like that. But that's design eight. <coughs> it looks the it makes the wheels look a lot. The tires look more chunky when the actual wheel itself is kind of recessed. It sits in on this one, rather than that one that stuck out. This one is kind of recessed. I like that. It's a nice wheel design. That one. Yep, quite like that. Anyway, that's the wheel designs. Anyway, back into the customized menu. So, like I say, the rim color is the same. You can do that pick any of those colors so the rim color you can match the car do it an opposite color whatever you want but that's the rim colors there will be a cost implication for that as well obviously um, then we've got design and again design what does that mean I'm gonna put design color on and I'm gonna put it on to red so it really stands out okay um, you know white and red might not be your thing you can be any color you want that's entirely up to you I'm gonna go white and red just so it stands out then you've got design standard, that's the car plane. Single GT stripe seems quite obvious, and it is obvious, but let's have a look anyway. So the single GT stripe is just that, single GT stripe. Up over the top. Does it go down the boot as well? No. The tail lift, whatever you want to call it. Tailgate, sorry, tail lift, tailgate. Uh, so there you go. That's the single GT stripe. Actually, that doesn't look too bad in uh, white and red. I'd probably have to change the wheel colour if I was going to do that. So that's the first one. So that's single GT stripe. If I go to twin GT stripe, I wonder what that might be. Let's have a quick look. Could it be two stripes? Absolutely. Twin GT stripe. Again, across the bonnet, over the roof, and you can just about see it on the back here. There. Okay. So that's the twin GT stripe. Next design then is design one. Very specific. No idea what that means. Let's have a look. Well, that's interesting. Okie dokie. Now, it's whoa okay that's weird right so we've got the two doors are uh, now the color you've chosen as is the roof that's an interesting design choice um but there you go the, the two side doors either side and the roof are the secondary color that you may have chosen back in again design two. Oh, okay we've got design two this time that's good 
customize yes please okay oh okay so this time you've got two doors and the bonnet but not the roof okay just jumping all over the new paint job that's nice so this time then design two side doors and bonnet the secondary paint color design three two side doors the bonnet and the roof god they're really mixing it up okay so that's the uh that's design three side doors bonnet and roof in your secondary color if they're gonna gradually work up until it's all just a secondary color that would be a bit weird okay back in again that was design three and that's it well there you go i thought it was going to go up to like design eight like it did with the wheels that's um peculiar so those are your design options uh i think the single gt stripe or the twin gt stripe is probably going to be the most common if you want to stand out from your friends you might go for design one two or three well, i'm not quite sure why you would but you might do um, rim color interestingly if it was me i'd probably go with either what matches the vehicle or even black i, I think the wheels look quite cool and i'm actually i'm gonna put it on black why not and design i'm gonna have it on of i'm very wheezy sorry about that <coughs> twin gt stripe because i do like that um design eight for the wheels i'm keeping yeah I'll just leave it on that for the time being so that's what i'm going to customize it to be I just think those wheels, when they're black, that's quite cool. I do like that. But anyway, that is the Lizard pickup, the Lizard TT. Those are your options for wheel design and your options for your paint scheme. So you will no longer have to go through all the options, spending thousands and thousands and thousands until you find the one you like. I've just done it for you anyway hope you like the episode uh just a quick one like i say it's a learn along with mr silly p it's not really a tutorial or a guide you know if you get something out of it that's fantastic but um it's more just to have a look see what happens anyway that's all from me for this episode if you want to call it that if you liked it give us a like if you don't subscribe to my channel please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you'd like to share the video be my guest but that's it a guide to tutorial learn along with mr silly p whichever way you look at it and whichever option you choose thanks for watching <laughs>